is music created or discovered? Uh, I would have to say both, uh, because uh, in theory, um, essentially, the I mean the, the frequency of the note determines its pitch, and uh, a chord, the chord is is related to the sort of acoustic um, resonance, but but that's only in theory, because um, because I do believe the human beings are chosen to make music and to create music. Um, for instance, a Brahms symphony, if if it cannot be received by the human ears, is essentially the vibrations of the air, and we, our humans will, our is teaches us how to distinguish noise or melody, and we were taught to play music, compose music. When you when you say chosen, what do you mean by chosen? Um, the humans were chosen to play music. Do you mean by like a higher? Um, power or yeah yeah I mean depends on your religion but I but we have the human will and uh, we uh, are specially made or born to to deal with the music and the other art form I think I do believe because um, like I said you have to be understanding the music and uh, oh god still very hard question. <laughs> We are getting into two, sort of two philosophy area. It's fine. Well, it's good. It's good. It's a very useful, uh, very interesting question. Yeah, but I think through the music we can sort of we understand the emotions of the ancients and also, you know, we we keep playing it. We pass it on the sort of the resonance to the future generations. The music defines somehow defines our identity as a human beings. Basically, all my memories are linked with the music. Yeah, when I think of my childhood, I would like remembering what, which kind of music, which instrument I was playing, and you know the the songs you heard, the the books you read. This sort of they they make my personality, and they make who I am today. Personally, I've, I've started playing the violin when I was four years old, and I remember I, I, I don't, I don't, I didn't quite enjoy it at the very beginning. And but my mother makes me practicing, and I'm very appreciative with that because, uh, and I always had a sort of interest on the viola, so I think why not try it? So I started both, and uh, viola, of course, I mean um, slightly bigger. Luckily, I've got the long arms and. Uh, my hands are okay. It's, it's okay to press all the notes. So um, I didn't got any trouble fitting into the viola. I think I, I might be. In fact, this instrument is is better for me. It's more suitable for me compared to the violin. life, your emotions, your feelings, your experiences, uh, how does that manifest itself creatively um, in your work? Because my identity is as a as musician, so it doesn't really matter if it's my life or my work. When, when I'm in my life mode, I enjoy listening to music, I enjoy practicing my viola or my violoncello das bala. So it's, it's, not, it's not me with the music, but instead I am the music or music is mine. So I think um, very hard to tell. Uh, how I use the music to impact my life because I think the music is within my life all the time. The important moments of my life when I when I propose to my to my wife to my to my current uh, to my wife uh, current wife. What is that? <laughs> God, don't put that one. I'm the young Confidant. I'm the young Confidant. 
The advantage of being married to another great musician is that we can learn from each other and also we can working together all the time. So I think it's good that I can learn from him and uh, I always uh, get some more calculation and uh, more control when studying the music and, yeah. uh, and accuracy and intonation rhythmic so I could yeah. help with this sort of stuff. And this characteristic also appear in life. Yeah. So it's also affecting our life, uh, the style. Yeah, sometimes we rely on each other. But, but we both share the, the sort of the longing for the good quality of notes, the singing voice. The, she's metal soprano, I'm viola, violoncello da spalla. We are, all, we are all in the middle of the calf and we're mm -hmm. all liking the warm sounds, mm -hmm. the subtle sound, yeah. the beautiful singing sound. How do you define success? Success? Like profession, uh, success doesn't exist. It's only the definitions on, on yourself. But I, I, for, for me, success is playing the music that I like. But I like basically all the music. So playing the music and, uh, you know, and a living, living with my, with my wife and hopefully will have will be able to spend more time with my with my parents in, in China. And that's basically all I want, playing music, staying with the loved ones. I think I'm a very I'm very lucky to, to be able to took the musician as my job and uh, sort of all the decisions I've made during my lifetime leads me to this position as a musician. And I'm I am appreciative with it. Happy being a musician. <laughs>